Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then please subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Today for review, I have the Tivdio HR-11S. It's an AM FM stereo shortwave emergency radio. It has a recorder, Bluetooth, and MP3 playback functions. I purchased this radio for a total of $19.75 off Amazon. It was a lightning deal. I happened to be at the right, pra- right place at the right time. Uh, right now they sell for $27.99 for this model. And then the HR11W, instead of having shortwave, it has the weather band. That particular model sells for $25.99 on Amazon. I'll give you an idea. And I'll put those links in the description so you can check it out. So here's my radio. Yeah, so this looks really close to the Kaito. KA680 and when I was just cruising around looking at emergency radios because I love emergency radios (laughs) uh, I happened across this on Amazon I don't know what time of day it was and it it said lightning deal 19 something like $19 what's wrong with it and it was brand new and I'm like 19 bucks I'll give it a go so yeah I had seen this and I passed it up because it was like $40 at the time and it just had shortwave didn't have weather band and I'm like well if I'm gonna buy an emergency radio I want weather band but since this was so inexpensive I said what the heck I'll give it a shot so here's the box you can see they got FM AM shortwave and then this parentheses weather band that's the different model the HR 11 W so but we have the S model which is the shortwave model so you get the Bluetooth mp3 recorder here we got the little information there it does quite a bit we'll go over all the features portable emergency radio green I wish they had yellow (laughs) I want yellow I hear some symbols hand crank solar power alert 1500 presets yeah that was I shocked by that that's cool automatic search cell phone charge good thing to have Um, let's see recorder this recorder we're gonna go over and it's the same as the ka 680 Kaido if you guys seen that video you know this radio is really similar in all respects but if you haven't seen that video then I'll give you all the information in this video uh, stereo M stereo yeah loving that hands-free that's for your Bluetooth function sleep timer calendar time and date okay oh here we go good this always comes up what frequencies does it have so on FM it has expanded uh, 64 to 90 I believe and then 87 to 108 I don't know if it's 64 to 108. I know there's three different FM modes. So uh, AM is 10 step and also changeable to 9 step. Here we have shortwave 3.0 to 23 megahertz. And this is if you had the weather band model, which we don't, so that doesn't belong there. Which I didn't have that on here, but they're dual using this box. So and more of the same, what it can do. And this in the bottom shows which one I got. S model for the shortwave and W is for the weather band. So that's the weather band by model there and this is the shortwave model there so green is shortwave red is the weather okay so yeah it comes really cool in the box I took it out make it easier for us but this is really cool like fold out design came in a bag just like the 680 uh, Kaido and then um yeah you got your accessories in this box so we'll go ahead and show you what came in all this and what you get for your money so yeah 19 bucks I was like yeah good deal <laughs> I love good deals that was just amazing Uh, So yeah, you know what this is, right guys? Charging cable, USB, micro variety. Okay, cool. Let's see, battery. Yeah, this is the battery they included. Um, This is a 850 milliamp hour. I was hoping for a thousand because that's typically what the TIV deals come with. But uh, it's all right. I mean, it'll it'll get you by. They say it runs about five hours on the radio feature. Uh, So in five hour on the MP3 playback. Um, so you get five hours on one of these little batteries. I keep a store of charged batteries like this, so it's a good thing because this radio only accepts this type of battery, and that's it. It has no other default battery. So, uh, but yeah, if you're gonna invest in a radio like this, it's always good to have extras of these. Maybe even a little dedicated charger you can pick up from China for five bucks. So there you go, and you get a wrist strap. Yeah, I got my wrist strap. <laughs> one of my radios, my Sony, I think. 18. You know, that one didn't come with one. I was like going to cry, but my tip deal came with one. All right. <laughs> yeah, I love her straps. Okay, tip deal operation manual. Here we go. Yeah, the features are going to be really similar to that Kaido, and it should be a breeze to go through. So, boo doo doo doo. You guys can read all that real fast. 
Oh, yeah, here we go. Here's our frequency chart. Okay. A7 to 108, 64 to 108. There's your nine step on the AM. Uh, here we go. We got some uh, access rates. So this is the playback. It can go up to 320, which is really nice on the MP3 mode. And then WMA goes up to 384K. Uh, it supports a micro SD card to 32 gigabytes. Awesome. And going down the line here, yeah, here's your hours five hours on radio, five hours on P3 at 22 volume. That's pretty high volume, so you'll probably not be running it that high. Charging time about the same 40 millimeter speaker. So you get the drill. All right, let's go over to radio. Yeah, the radio two. There it is. Let's go over dimensions real quick. So we have five inches wide, two and three eighths of an inch high, and an inch and three quarters deep. Okay, let's go over some features of the radio. Let's see if I can get a light on this so we can see what we're looking at. There we go. So on the radio, on the left side, we have a white LED light, and we'll turn it on with the switch up on top here. There you go. And then we got a red LED blinker underneath. They kind of separated that. So that's what you get there. So two light modes. Okay. And then there's alert up here on that switch. You guys can see that. Yeah, so you have the light, the blinker red, and then the alert. The alert is that siren. Yeah, that'll get somebody's attention. <laughs> okay. On uh, the front of the radio, we have the Tibdio HR11S model there. We have two little holes here. That's the microphone port. So you can do audio recording, you know, by your voice. Uh, here's your little speaker. Um, yeah, it's pretty small. This is 40 millimeters. I don't know if that's an inch and a half, inch and a quarter. I measured an inch and a quarter on the vent holes. So here we have a little hole there that turns green. Let's see if we can show you that. Yeah, there you go. That shows that the battery's charging. Okay. Here's the display. LCD has uh, four lines and it has quite a bit of information when you're using the radio. Down here we got some buttons. Let's look at the buttons. Power button, radio uh, mode button, it toggles your MP3 player, your Bluetooth functions, and the radio mode. Menu, yeah, we'll get into that. If you guys saw the 680, it's the same thing. A lot of menu diving. This is um, the hang up or pick up of the phone when you're using Bluetooth. Okay, over here we have the numeric keypad one through zero. And if you look, they have a lot of secondary functions. They just this thing does so much. So if you look at one and two, it says volume down, volume up. Number three is your shortwave band, and then it also triples as your um, repeat function key. Number four has the memory down and record function. Number five has your memory up function and EQ function. Six is your medium wave band select and then A, B um, track select when you're, you want to do repeat mode. Here seven, you have back, uh, seek, that's your tuning to tune down and to seek down. Eight is the opposite, seek up and tune up. Uh, nine is tune up. It's pretty funny. It sounds like car. <laughs> a nine is a FM band select and pause play. Pretty awesome. Down here we have a dedicated escape function. The zero button acts as your mute function for the audio. Here are enter key for entering direct frequencies. Uh, X also toggles as your lock function. So yay. All right. So go to the right side of the radio. We have a headphone jack. This radio for 20 bucks, I don't know if it'll ever be 20 bucks again, but if you guys ever get this for 20 bucks, it's awesome. And I think even for $27, it's still a great deal. This headphone jack is great. Uh, FM stereo, I love it. There's like no hiss, and the stereo sounds fantastic. And there's extra bonuses here with this radio, which we'll talk about with the stereo, but amazing. Um, actually, I tell you right now, MP3 play playback is stereo recorded FM, when you record FM with the recorder function on here, records FM stereo, plays back FM stereo. So it just sounds good all around. There's your USB micro charging port. There's an SD micro card slot. I have one put in here already. It's an eight, eight gigabyte. It doesn't come with one, but uh, yeah, you can do a lot of recording. I think 136 hours on one of those cards. Uh, here is the uh, off on for the charge function for the output for your cell phone. Uh, or USB to other devices. So off when you're doing dynamo cranks the internal battery on only cranks the phone. You know, the dynamo goes to the phone. So there you go. Bottom, this is the access panel for the battery. And I put, I had a battery laying around that was charged. Put it in there so we can get going on that. 
Here on the back of the radio, we have the frequencies again. You can pause and read if you'd like. Here's the dynamo crank. Again, I love this. This reminds me of the Voyager 2. It's just a great um, feeling crank. Um, definitely, you feel like you're doing something when you're using this one. Great in a pinch. Um, I don't usually like using dynamos, uh, but I think it's a good deal. Here is your antenna. And this antenna extends out to how far? Let's see. I wrote that down. 13 and a half inches. Not very long. So if you buy a radio like this, guys, why don't you uh, at the same time invest in one of those uh, wires? And I'll link to a couple of those wires. Uh, I think Kaido makes one. Uh, let's see. There's uh, San Sanjin makes one uh, where you can clip it to the antenna and then string it up on a reel. It, they're just really handy to have. I think they're like 10 bucks. Um, I would recommend it, uh, especially for the shortwave part of this radio. It just really brings in the stations when you hook that up. So, all right, it's just my little extra there. So there's the antenna. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and turn this on and give you a basic idea what it can do. Tip Dio. Light. Okay, we're in shortwave mode. So you can toggle the different radio modes by hitting the different bands. So, FM. AM or medium wave. And a short wave. Okay, so we'll explore those in a second. Uh, wanted to show you. Actually, we'll explore them right now. Uh, let's go to medium wave. And I'm going to direct enter a station I know. Back in full voice with the pregame at seven o'clock. Okay. So you can direct entry, which is nice. You just hit the enter key. And you just enter the numbers and enter again. Uh, nice thing here is you can tune now with these seven and eight, and they go up or down 10k step. Okay. You can also seek. Don't know why I passed 780, that's ridiculous. Down river. That's right. Should find 720. Zoom <laughs> a radio. Ah, oh, it's good. Because this radio wasn't doing that before. <laughs> they are your next door neighbors and your colleagues and I'm not really doing band scans today with this, but we can do one later. But that's how you tune it. Turn the volume down here. Uh, it does have some noise uh, on the AM band, which isn't so fantastic. <laughs> uh, so yeah, okay, so that was neat. Let's, um, I guess, explore how, yeah, you can go on the uh, FM band real quick. Just kind of show the basic audio quality what this thing can do. good. Muting is good. <laughs> so we'll see if it finds anything. Come on, come on, come on, find my station. It's going to go past it. All right, so we're going to, as soon as it finds one. We're going to direct entry. Pretty Mutual just saved me 782 bucks on insurance. Liberty did what? I know. It's a lot of money, right? What'd you say? Liberty. Cut your taxes one. Subject to a $125 minimum charge. Last year's receipt required. Limited time offer. Participate. Are you leaving the game So yeah, it's it's got good audio quality. It's for a little speaker like this, it's great. So say you were on your, uh, let's tune up to 720 there. The and you wanted to record your news. Yeah. So the record function's here on number four. Yeah. Yeah. Just press number four. So far, so good. Oh, made a mistake there. Yeah, I just picked up KOA Denver. That's great, you guys heard that. <laughs> I'm not trying to do a band scan. Uh, wow, okay, so let's go back to our 720. We'll hit record. 
Fibber McGee and Molly episode. This is from November 9th, 1954. Now the stars are Jim and Mary Ann George. Turn this down Special a little bit. Guest oh, is can't do that Gloria because of the recording. And she cover plays it. <laughs> Fibber's relative who is arriving oh, on uh, We're going to escape this. To so to we'll stop the recording, just escape. In... I'm turning them down so I can show you how that record works. It's time for Fibber McGee. Plus, you get to listen to some classic radio at the same time. So to record the show, you would just hit your record button once this comes up. So press hold. If you look there, it's recording at 32K uh, bits per second. and I'm sorry, 32K uh, frequency at 128 kilobits per second. And there's your recording elapsed time and how much time is left on the card, 135 hours. Better life indicator shows you on the micro SD. Uh, date stamp words, and file release, number. We'll be right into today's story. So pretty cool. Now with recording on this is really nice. Like I mentioned um, on FM, it records in stereo. If the station's coming in stereo, sweet. Here, uh, when you're recording, you can also pause. So over here, number nine, just hit this. It'll flash telling it's pausing, and then you unpause. Pausing is pausing a word. Paused. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so just trying to keep this under an hour here. So then, when you're done with your recording, you just escape, saves it, goes, takes a break, and it goes back to the station you were you were on. So cool. All right. So now so we did that. Let's just see what the shortwave can do. And I remember I told you I was gonna hook up a wire. I recommend it. Um, I mean, right now you can hear something coming through. Brother Stairs talking. So this little antenna is picking up something, but I rec definitely recommend a wire. So we hook up a wire. And had a mess of party ever since. Go ahead and seek up here and see what we can find on this band. Now it's nice when you're uh, on shorewave, you're able to uh, change. able to change the uh, different bands you're on with the hit, hitting the shortwave band over and over. And I'll show you how that works. Let's see if we can find some stations here just to show you how this works. And then we'll get into the uh, Bluetooth uh, and MP3 capability. This radio, just awesome. 19 bucks, I mean, yeah, I'd run and grab one all day long. So here we go, if we wanna go different bands, you just hit the shortwave button. And you can see it's going to jump. Go to some daytime frequencies. I'm going to try to pick up one more nighttime one. Let's do a quick scan of that. It's a little slow, but yeah, I can't believe the memory count. Um, did I tell you that it has a ton? So on shortwave, you have 928 memories. I I don't even I can't fathom that many stations on shortwave. Can you guys? I, on this little thing, I don't think so. Um, you get 132 on the medium wave and 440 on the FM. 1500 presets, just amazing. Um, so let's go ahead and. All right. So here I think it's this one. So we'll see. What, I think we can get the time signal at least. Let's kind of scroll up, see if there's anything down here. The bottom of the scale. Like I said, we'll do a thorough band scan. If you noticed on AM, it was pretty neat getting KOA Denver. I didn't expect that. Because uh, earlier I was trying to get something with this and I wasn't getting anything. Somebody talking. This backlight can be set at different times and we'll get to that in a little bit. Let's just see if we can find one more station. We should definitely find the clock signal. And the same with the shortwave, you can direct entry the... There you go. You guys can hear it. There, it's just not really loud. Trying to hold the antenna up a little bit. No, yep, it's there. So, but you can record the shortwave if you wanted. You just hit record, and I record in the shortwave, which is really cool for those radiograms. And uh, if you ever hit code coming through, but typically for those radiograms, kind of neat. So, and then to stop, just escape, just like normal thing it'll take a pause and go back to shortwave cool so here's your now to get out of the radio mode you hit the mode over here go 
close to Bluetooth. Now if I have my phone ready, I could sync it and I could play all my audio through here so it becomes a Bluetooth speaker. Yay. Don't really need it, but it's there. And then hit it again. Okay, I better mute that because that's um, copyrighted. <laughs> that was uh, some... I was testing the stereo functionality again because I was trying to remember if it had that, and it did. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and... It's cool, it's playing so paused. So let's go ahead and we can actually go to the beginning of my recorded tracks. So you can hear more of how this plays. Unmute. A little loud sometimes. <laughs> I think I mentioned that if it's in stereo on your MP3, headphones plays back in stereo. It's awesome. And that display looks really good. So if you look here, I'm going to show you the playback mode. Elapsed time of the track, total time of the track, EQ setting. We have normal, pop, rock, jazz, classical, and back to normal. Only thing is this volume, you gotta wait for it to time out. So here, the A is the repeat function, and if you remember, shortwave has the repeat function on it, number three. And when you hit the three, you'll see it cycle. That's all songs in one folder, they're repeated. The same song over and over. Random repeat of all your songs on the SD card. We have 16 tracks. That's random, and this is all in sequential order repeated. Mode play and pause, which is good. Give me the title of the song there too, which is nice your little spectrum analyzer, and then of course our battery indicator. Cool. So for an emergency radio, I love having this. You guys know what I'm gonna say. I like my audiobooks, and I love having radio classics. So you can put a ton on a little micro SD card like that. If you're an emergency, you got some backup. Colgate Dental Cream to clean your breath while you're in cooperation with police. So we got some cool stuff here. You can also fast forward. If you look there by holding down seven or eight, going back or forward. For the part of the headless horseman. <laughs> and that little chap over there, the, the lonesome looking fellow. He's a pickpocket. And then of course, I put a audiobook on here. You got to. <laughs> what white folks have caught them to sleep and played and sang and was good to them. Okay. Their approach sensitized a switch somewhere and the nursery this? light flickered on when they came within 10 feet of it. Similarly, behind them in the halls, lights went on So they can change the tone, which is kind of nice. With a soft automaticity. It's too bassy. Well, said George Hadley. All right, so we can go ahead and nursery. stop that. Now, here's the fun part, the menu. So in the menu, you can do a lot. So you have the different modes, and select the 7 and 8 to go through the different modes. So you got radio, just like you do with this button uh, when you're in the menu. You have music, you have Bluetooth function, you have a text browser. Now, on this radio, and most radios have this text browser feature, even though it's a little tiny screen, I find it really important because you can put contact lists, you can put preparedness lists, you know, uh, routes to take, just, just information that in case you don't have your phone, uh, you just have this device, you have all that information there. And then you can use that if you need to contact somebody. So just a great thing to have. And I would recommend building a couple of good text files with information you need in an emergency, um, which I love. So pretty much what I did. Oh, yeah, if you wait long enough, it goes defaults to the clock. Um, what I did is I just put my 
little uh, radio station list here showing the different radio stations I've found, how far away they are from me. So it's kind of neat. You can just kind of cycle through the text file, bending forward and back. And then you could put like a, a mini book if you wanted to on text, I guess, and read it. Uh, I would do like a small story or something like that, something short, because this would take forever to page through. So this is mainly for short lists. So we'll hit um, escape to get out of that. All right, so then we'll see what else we got. We've got system settings and calendar. Calendar lets you set the time in the calendar. It's pretty basic. System settings where a lot of stuff is located. System time, backlight setting. The backlight, you can actually set it to be always on or up to 240 seconds. Pretty awesome. Different languages. Tools. You have the sleep timer and the tool function. You have the touch tones. You have beeps. I turn that off. Uh, there's the alarm function. The alarm function has a ton of extra functions underneath that. It has alarm time, alarm cycle, and alarm mode. You can wake up to the radio, wake up to the buzzer, how often you want the cycle to go. Um, that's pretty nice. And there's your, of course, sleep timer. But yeah, with the alarm mode, it's pretty cool. If you go to the cycle, you can see it says ring once, ring daily, ring multi-day. So pretty cool set. All right. And I believe, oops, escape that. I touched on most of those features. Pretty, pretty simple stuff. Uh, if you're on the radio, just get to the radio here. It was 40 feet across. And you're, say you're on the uh, AM band. And its daily use helps promote a you can clean your menu, and helpful condition. You save your station That's here. M -U -R -I -M -U. Auto search and store. It takes forever to do, you but you can do that. For your eyes. You can delete the station preset. Let's go back to this. That's fun. All right, so yeah, you have that, and you also have when you're on the radio. Get back to the radio. Right now, I got some phone calls to make. Oh, when you're on the AM band, indeed. you have the ability yeah, to step, step switch, oh, not a bit, which Jerry. is nine or ten. Yes, Jerry, you brought on himself. Yeah. So, and on FM, it lets you change the expanded mode. All right. So there it is, the Tiv Dio HR11S. In a nutshell. Yeah, this thing is great, fantastic, does a ton of stuff. So let's go ahead and disconnect my tent, put this back down. And yeah, like I said, we might do a band scan later on this radio. Let's just kind of zoom on in and do final thoughts on it. All right. So the Tib Dio HR, there you go, the clock, clock function. Uh, so what I like about this radio, um, I got a cheap under 20 bucks sweet um, it makes for a pretty basic emergency radio um, it has a lot of features I just wish it had weather band too this would be amazing if it had all of that plus weather band um, it would definitely be the ultimate deal um, if they would do that but I think they just wanted to sell another radio that's why they didn't they split it up uh, I think they could easily add another chip and go with a weather band solar panel is nice to have on a radio the dynamo crank is really nice. I wish it had optional batteries. I always say that, but it doesn't. The speaker quality is really good. For a little tiny speaker, it sounds very good. Having a flashlight in emergency, bonus, you know, always a good thing. This isn't a bad light. It's got some kind of like, what do you call it, three little lights to make one. So it's it'll, it'll light the room up, you know, where you need to go. Uh, let's see, the alarm's there. You got your, your clock. You can, which is nice, you know, in an emergency it is good to have a clock, to know what time it is, especially in extended emergencies. If you're not running the radio, I'm sure you could use this as an alarm clock function for quite a long time, probably for days. If you're using the radio a lot, you're gonna run this little battery dead. Uh, you're gonna be cranking it or having this in the window quite often trying to get it charged. So I'd recommend having um, extras of these, you know, pre-charged laying around, cycled. I always have like five or six ready to go. Um, so if you ever, we're in a quick emergency, you can just grab your lithium batteries, grab the radio, and go. This wouldn't be that bad to put a little container and have. It's pretty small uh, and easy to transport. So, yeah, everything about this radio I love. So, uh, it's a, for the money, it was great. Having shortwave is cool. Um, so, yeah, I would recommend this radio even now at 27 bucks. I think it's great. Anything under 30 I think this radio is, is just a really good buy for what it does. The biggest thing on this radio is that record function. Uh, being able to record my AM broadcast local, which is all really good, and then my FM stereo, I love that. It, that is just great. Uh, and it sounds so good playing back, too, so it's a decent recorder. Yeah, I'm happy. 
So if you love the video, big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, tap the little bell icon, ring the bell, be a Tyler Burt made a video, yay! Um, and comment below what you think about the Tivdio HR11S. I know it's been out for a while. I know a lot of guys did reviews on this. I love it. I got one now. Uh, definitely going to keep this one. It is just a great, great radio for the money. Okay, guys, take care. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.